Hi, this is Christina Baldwin with Sunny Day Memories, and today we are going to be making this teacher appreciation card. Um, it's a little bit different than a standard traditional card, um, although it is similar in size, just adding a little bit of variety to it. So before we get started, let's go ahead and collect our supplies. Um, as I said, we are going to be using the Teacher Appreciation stamp set from Close to My Heart, and here you have it. It's got some great owl images and the globe and then wonderful sentiments for the beginning of the school year, teacher appreciation, end of the school year. Um, just a great set. And then you're going to need four different ink colors. Oh, actually, sorry, five. We're going to be using Cranberry, Whisper, Topiary, Chocolate, and Black. And then we are going to need to cut some papers. You are going to need a white daisy cardstock cut at 4 inches by 11 inches. And I did it at 4 inches rather than 4 and a quarter just so that I could get 3 cards out of a 12 by 12 piece of paper rather than just 2. So you could certainly change that and alter it and have it be 4 and a quarter by 11. Um, and then you're going to score it in half at the 5 and a half inch mark so that you have a 4 by 5 and a half card base. And then we're going to be using the Snow Haven paper packet. And this piece here measures um, one and three quarters inch high by five and a half inches long. And we're going to have another white daisy piece. This is three quarters inch high and then five and a half inches long. And then a cranberry piece, which is seven eighths inches high and five and a half inches long. You will also want to have some of our black arrow washi tape, a journaling pen, some 3D foam, and a pair of Teflon scissors will be very helpful as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So as you saw, I went ahead and I folded the card in half. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and take this heart image that is like a heart apple, and we're going to stamp it over and over across the card base. And we're going to want to stamp it about a third of the way down. And you're going to want to try and make sure that you're keeping a straight line across because that's what's going to create this border going across. Because we're going to stamp it and then we're going to go ahead and cut off all of the stems there um, to create that border. So we'll go ahead and ink up. Stamp it off the edge a little bit. It doesn't need to be perfectly on there. And then you'll just go ahead and line up your heart images until you make it all the way across. And I also forgot to say that you'll want to have yourself a piece of extra white daisy cardstock because what we're going to do is we're going to stamp another heart um, on the scratch paper in both the cranberry, actually I shouldn't say both, uh, three times we're going to do a cranberry in the chocolate and then in the topiary so that you can go ahead and paper piece it together, which I've already done ahead of time. And then you'll have this cute little um, apple in the shape of a heart that we can pop up on our card. So I'll set that aside. So like I was saying, you're just going to go ahead and take your scissors and you're going to cut across your card. And it doesn't matter that we have all these leaves on here because we're just going to go ahead and trim that out. And I just left a little bit of a border along each of the heart images. And you'll just go ahead and do that till you get to the other end of your card. And the nice thing is if you cut one of these hearts, or not cut, I'm sorry, stamped one of these hearts and it didn't turn out very well, that is, can be where you put your 3D heart. And then I'll cover up your flaw. And then you're going to go ahead and just cut off the end of this card right along that score line. And there you have your card. Okay, so then you're just going to do simple layering with your other pieces. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to stamp the sentiment on there. And what I did is I used the Whisper ink for the lines. We're going to ink that up really good. And the Whisper is a light gray color, so it's kind of hard to see on your stamp image. But the nice thing is, if you have one of these Versa mats, it's nice um, contrast against the white, so it's easier to line up your lines. You go ahead and press and come straight up. And then again, taking the Cranberry ink, we're going to go ahead and stamp the thank you. 
And you're going to kind of center that on there. And you've got the nice lines to help guide you where to put it. You've got your thank you. And then I'm going to take the black ink and I'm going to do the additional sentiment that says for being a wonderful teacher. Again, lining it up on your lines there. And then you're just going to simply go ahead and layer that on to your cranberry and then layer it onto your pattern paper from the Snow Haven. And what I did then is I took our washi tape and I just cut off two arrows so that I could line them up so that it was focused in on our sentiment. And this is when having some Teflon scissors, some of our nonstick scissors help out a lot. Go ahead and cut off one of the arrows and then you can go ahead and line the tip of it on the dotted portion. And then if you have excess, you can just wrap it around the back and again, cut off another arrow. Line it up with the dots. Wrap it around. And then you have that all done. And then you're going to go ahead and use your 3D foam. And you're going to pick which heart you want it to be on. I um, suggest that you kind of offset it with a thank you. Like that. But like I said, if you have a heart that maybe didn't stamp so well, if it's over here, go ahead and put it over here just to kind of hide that flaw. But it's just a matter of putting it all together. And then you're going to take your journaling pen and you're going to draw the lines around it on the inside of the card. Just to give it a little bit more pizzazz to the card so it's not just this blank white open area at the top. And I will show you another example of this that I used very similar, just a different sentiment. So instead of having it be centered, I offset this one and I had the thank you and I used for making a difference in a child's life and then I just have the one arrow. But the same concept where I popped up the um, apple and then the final touch that I did was I took a sparkle and I just put it on that little reflection piece there of the apple. So that's it. And there you have a nice little card to give to your teacher either during teacher appreciation at the start of the year or at the end of the school year. So thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed it.